Hello, I'm Evgeny Yeliseev, a teacher of Russian language from RussianTheRussian.com. We start a conversation about pronunciation of consonant clusters in Russian language. This topic is very important and I will try to examine it in detail. Today I will show you the basic rule which we will use in all lessons about consonant clusters. But first, let's check your last exercise. Жир, шить, цирк, сверхинтересный, сверхинтересный, дезинформация, дезинформация, постимпериализм, постимпериализм, суперигра, суперигра, субинспектор, субинспектор, пединститут, пединститут. In all these words, the letter E is pronounced as U. And now, let's examine the basic rule of pronunciation of Russian consonant clusters. Before such voicing consonants as B, G, D, Z, and Z, the majority of Russian consonants become voicing. But before voiceless consonants, they become voiceless. Compare, for example, стал, сдал. In both situations, we write the letter S. But in the first case, it's located before a voiceless sound T. That's why it specifies the voiceless sound S. Стал. In the second word, the letter S is followed by the voiced sound D. That's why it changes its pronunciation and specifies the voiced sound Z. Сдал. Скорбеть. Сгореть. In the first case, we pronounce a voiceless sound because the S is followed by the voiceless sound K. Скорбеть. In the second word, the S is followed by the voiced sound G. That's why it specifies the voiced sound Z. Сгореть. Резкий. Загрузка. Here the letter Z has voiceless sound because it's located before a voiceless sound K. Резкий. Загрузка. Изба. Разгар. Here the letter Z has voiced sound because it's located before the voiced sounds B and G respectively. Изба. Разгар. Other examples. Обжить. Обзывать. Before the voiced sounds Z and Z, the letter B specifies a voiced sound B. Обжить. Обзывать. But обшить, обсыпать. Before the voiceless sounds sh and s, the letter b specifies a voiceless sound p. Обшить, обсыпать. Meanwhile, the above mentioned mutations don't occur before the letters l, m, n, r, denoting sonorant consonants and also before the sounds V and Y. Before these sounds, we pronounce the same things that we write. The pronunciation is not different from the spelling. Сломать, изломать, сменить, изменить, сносить, износить, срубить, изрубить, сводить, Изводить. Съели. Изъели. All that I said is true for prepositions. Before the voiced sounds B, G, D, Ж, Z, we pronounce voiced consonants. С душой. Без души. Before voiceless sounds, we pronounce voiceless consonants. С трубой. Без трубы. Before the letters L, M, N, R and before the sounds V and Y, 
we pronounce the same things that we write. The pronunciation is not different from the spelling. С луком – без лука, с мясом – без мяса, с ромом – без рома, с нами – без нас, с вами – без вас, с елью – без ели. And now please try to read the following words. We will check your pronunciation in the next lesson. If you have any questions, feel free to post them in the comments. If you enjoyed the video, please subscribe to my channel, leave comments and visit my website to get more information about the Russian language and private Russian Skype lessons. Thanks for watching, have a nice day, see you at the next videos.